Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use Photoshop to make an airbrush style t-shirt. I've seen a lot of artists making shirts like this, so I thought it'd be fun to show you how to make one completely digitally using only photos. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using my airbrush design bundle that I made specifically for Photoshop. It comes with an action pack that automatically gives your images the airbrushed effect, a textile pack, and a brush pack to paint the airbrush motifs. I've added the link to download it in the description. So to get started, we just want to open up a new Photoshop document. Let's make the canvas size 15 by 20 inches. And we want to set the resolution to 300 dpi. For this design, let's make the background white. Then you just want to paste in your photo. And the key to this whole process is choosing a high quality photo with a lot of contrast. I'm using this image of Virgil Abloh. As you can see, there's a lot of shadows and highlights that accentuate his features. If your image isn't high contrast, your end result might look muddy or washed out. Next, you just want to select your subject and then crop out any parts of the image that you don't need. In order to apply our airbrushed effect, you want to install the action file. To do this, you just go to Window, and then go to Actions, then go to the drop-down menu, and then click Load Actions. From there, you just need to select the .atn file that you downloaded. I've already done this, so this folder appears here in the panel. If you open that up, you can see that there are six presets that I included. Each of these presets uses a different method to achieve the airbrushed look. So depending on what your original image is, the result might look different. So it's really important that you go through these and experiment with which preset will look best with the image that you're using. I've already done this, so I think that this one looks good with my photo. Then all you have to do is select your image, select the preset, and then click the play button. The airbrush effect is automatically applied to your image. If you go down to your layers panel, you can open up that folder, and here you can tweak the levels or the hue and saturation. I like to make the darks a little bit darker and make the whites a little bit brighter, just to add some contrast. Depending on your image, these adjustments might need to be a bit more drastic, but for this one, it's pretty subtle. Then to make the background elements, we just want to make a new layer. Then we can use the paint bucket tool to fill in the background a light blue color to look like the sky. Then in order to add some clouds in the background, we want to import our brush pack. You can do this by going to window, then click brushes. Then in the brushes panel, click the drop down and import brushes. There you can select the .abr file you downloaded. Then the brush folder should appear here in the panel. The one that you want to use is called Cloud Fluffy. So just click it, then make sure you turn your color to white. Then you can just make a new layer and click around your subject to add the clouds in. You can go up to the settings and even adjust the size of the brush to your liking. Once you're done painting your clouds in and you want to add your design to that oval shape like how I did it in the final version, you just want to select all your layers and then add them to a group. Then click the layer mask icon down at the bottom and then make sure that you click that layer mask thumbnail in your layers panel. Next, just go to your elliptical marquee tool and we can change the feather up at the top to around 90 pixels. Then you just wanna select which part of the image that you wanna show. So I just want his face kinda of cutting out the edges of the shoulders. 
Then you can inverse your selection by hitting Shift I, then using the Paint Bucket tool to paint in black. So this should mask out your image. So as you can see, the white background is showing all around and the oval shape. Then I can just scale up that image to the size that I want. Then next, all we have to do is add in the text. You can do that by clicking the type tool. For these airbrush style designs, I like to use a script type font. So this one, I'm using Serif script. You can scale that up. Then I think we should add an arch to this text. You can click that and then click the warp text icon. Then let's click arch. I'm going to bend that to around 35% and then click OK. Then let's just continue to adjust this to the placement and size that we want. After you're done placing all your text, you can apply the text effect by importing your textile pack by going to Window, Styles, then go to the drop down menu and then click Import Styles. Click the .asl file and then that should import all your text effects in the panel as you can see. For this one, I use this blue one. All you have to do is select the text and then click and it applies automatically. To adjust the scale of the effect, you can right click that FX icon in your layers panel and then click scale effect. Then you can just use this slider to adjust how big you want it. But for this one, I feel like it's pretty accurate the way it was, so I'm just going to keep that pretty similar. And then you can just apply any effect that you want to the rest of your text. I actually think the color looks a bit too saturated, so I'm gonna fix that really quick. So I'm just gonna go back into that folder with our subject and then click the hue and saturation and reduce the saturation a little bit just to match what it looked like in the final design. Let's just tweak that spacing a little bit more. But that's pretty much it. That's how you make a pretty realistic airbrush style t-shirt design in Photoshop using my airbrush design bundle. And hopefully you found this video helpful. I have a ton of other design tools available in my shop. I've got vintage style image effects, textures, mockups, and more. If you could check out the link below, I'd appreciate the support. Thanks for watching.